Batman VR is an amazing experience, but it's lacking as a Batman game. It's short, taking you around one hour to finish the story, you can do extra stuff if you scan the levels for Riddler puzzles after you finish the campaign. But its campaign is only one hour long. Also in the game you feel like a detective, but not like a ninja in a suit. The only place where you feel like a ninja in a suit is where you have to travel from one point to the other on the map. But aside of that, you feel only like a detective. You barely get into combat in the game and when you do, you just do stuff like throw a batarang from a distance and hear punch noises. That's the combat. So you don't get any combat actually. But even if it's lacking as a Batman game, as a VR experience, it's amazing. With its convincing 3D. The 3D in VR headsets isn't like cinema 3D. It's more advanced than that. It's more immersive, which helps create a unique and convincing experience. You feel like Batman. The Batcave, the alley, Bruce's mansion, all look stunning. You can even interact with objects. And here is where you have the most fun. And also, you see how good the 3D is in these sections. What you see now on screen isn't what you experience in a VR headset. What you see on the headset looks more real and immersive, even if what you see are the graphics from Arkham Knight. The gameplay consists on puzzle solving. You have a utility belt, where you have a scanner, a grappling hook and battle ranks. As many as you want. With this, you solve puzzles. And because the experience is so immersive, the puzzles are great. But me and other reviewers would have liked some combat too in the game. And the game to have more length. As for the story, you're not losing out on anything if you don't play the game. I'll summarize the story for you this time to show you what I mean. In the game, Batman finds out that Dick was killed and goes to find out why. Robin gets captured and Joker is behind this. And at the end, Batman goes mad. That's the story. It ends in a cliffhanger and story-wise the story is incomplete and ends abruptly. So in conclusion, if you already have a VR headset and find the game cheap, I recommend you to try the game. It's amazing. It's a really nice experience. But if you don't have a headset and the game is expensive, I recommend you to not make efforts to get it. It's not worth it. You're not missing out on anything as a story and the experience is expensive. It's a unique experience indeed, but a really short one too. It feels more like a tech demo than a full-fledged game.